Well, first we had her in assisted living, and we realized that that was, she was, needed far more help. So then, um, and we knew we wanted her to be somewhere that was safe and, and that the care was fabulous, so we were fortunate enough to find out about English Rural Suites. I think you have to have a whole kind of a mirage of different things that make up a good program, from being able to do mental stimulation type things each day, being able to have opportunity for creative activity for residents that were creative. Not everybody was creative, but we're going to know which residents would enjoy the creativity. It's because she was helping everybody else, and that was who she was. So that would, it equally served both needs for both the resident. Being able to make sure that you meet the spiritual needs of the residents. Being able to make sure that you have opportunities to have intergenerational programming going on. Being able to have opportunities to bring the world into the residents and take the residents out into the world. We do that a lot. We do things as simple as going on golf cart rides. For English Rose, Suites, I feel that our role um, as far as implementing activities is to analyze each resident because each resident is different and to say well if this resident um, lived on a farm and he worked with his hands a lot and was outdoors and enjoys um, doing that kind of thing say maybe he would like to help you fix the chair outside or maybe he can help you start up the grill for dinner. Um, activities that are meaningful. Music, aromatherapy, something to kind of um, calm down the surroundings. They have uh, different therapies and he was uh, interested in the music therapy and, and uh, I was there one day and they were playing catch with the ball. In fact, they even have a basketball hoop and they can throw a basketball. And I haven't seen him uh, be involved in any physical activity, any kind, for several years. Each situation is different and if you need to improvise or change things to get things done better, then you make the necessary changes. With our one resident, she's really a homemaker and we just pretty much make sure she knows how much we need her, who's going to help us fold the laundry, who's going to help us bake cookies if she's not here with us and, and next thing you know she's just calm and she's fine and she's right at home. He, he is starting to talk a little bit, which is really good and I think the therapy draws him out and uh, it isn't something that we were able to do because we never had the time and we just didn't have the time as a family to, to work in these things. So we're very happy that he's been drawn out a bit. Routine is very important to a lot of residents that are dealing with the Alzheimer's disease. Um, just because it eliminates all the confusion of doing new things. Um, you can though, you'll find just like when you don't have Alzheimer's disease, it's fun to get a new activity in there every once in a while. We have pie parties there. We're we, we just, uh, well, it's just like another family to me. I, I enjoy visiting there. Last summer I was at home before work and my mom had cut up watermelon and I thought, oh, how fun. Uh, it'd be so fun to have a watermelon seed spitting contest. I always used to do that as a child. So I brought some to work and got the residents outside and they loved it. And you kind of have to make more of it than it is too so then I had drawn this award for Steve because he won the contest and he was the watermelon spitting king. They have way more wisdom than any of us have. You can learn so much from the residents. 